Also breaking tonight. Starting next month, all health care workers in New York State will have to be vaccinated against COVID-19. That announcement coming from Governor Cuomo today. The mandate will impact staff at hospitals and long-term care facilities. So nursing homes, adult care facilities, and congregate care settings. Ellie Peters joins us from the newsroom now with the potential impact of all this. Ellie. Adam, as of today, 75% of the state's hospital workers are fully vaccinated. In adult care facilities, that number stands at 74%. It's even a little bit lower in nursing homes where 86 or 68%, excuse me, of staff are vaccinated. Now, this new mandate will leave many others deciding between getting vaccinated or possibly leaving their job. All New York health care workers will soon have to be vaccinated against COVID-19. A move those with the Elder Justice Committee of Metro Justice applaud. And it's not just to protect the residents, it's to protect the staff. A number of staff die of COVID as well, so they, they want to be protected. The committee advocates for nursing home residents and has been pushing for a vaccine mandate among staff members, saying COVID-19 in nursing homes can shut doors, keeping residents from seeing their families. It has affected their um, emotional well-being. They've become very depressed. They've lost weight, um, gotten sicker. Uh, it's just, it's affected them from emotional through physical well-being. But even in the healthcare world, there's mixed response to the mandate. Many doctors understand it, saying they trust the science. Right now, we don't want anybody to have to worry if their healthcare team is doing everything they can to help make sure that their loved ones are safe. And if this adds an extra layer of protection, then I think that's great. Other healthcare workers, like Merle McDonald, a nurse at Highland Hospital, have spent the last few weeks protesting vaccine mandates. Our ultimate is so that we are not mandated to get an experimental vaccine, period. If you want to get it, get it. Everybody get it. We don't want to get it. She thinks they should be a personal choice and doesn't support the new mandate. We will probably do be doing some striking. We will be doing some walkouts. Now, Rochester Regional Health said in a statement today that they will comply with the mandate the governor announced and will be working on the implementation of this mandate as they learn more in the coming days. The University of Rochester Medical Center said they're awaiting further instruction from the State Department of Health to understand the details of this requirement. Live in the newsroom, Allie Peters, News 8. All right, Allie, thank you.